Welcome back. Let's look at the system management section of the core manager's features. The first tab you'll see here is user control interfaces or UCIs, which allows you to access and manage the security for every UCI deployed in your design. For any interface, you could select it first and then choose to open the UCI directly, which will launch an HTML web browser version of your UCI for you to control on screen. Of course, you could also use this HTML link to access your UCI directly from any web browser without ever navigating through the core manager. But you may also want to restrict people from accessing your UCI, whether it's on a web browser or a UCI viewer or even on a QSIS touchscreen. To do so, let's access the pin manager to create some permissions. By default, there are no pins, so press the plus button to create one. A PIN simply requires a name of the person who's logging on and their personal numeric code. You can create as many PINs as you like or delete them using the trash can icon. Do note that these are not tied to the user profiles you created for Core Manager. These are specifically for people who need to log into the UCI to control the system, like the employees of your venue. Once you've created some PINs, you can then click the Edit Access button for your UCI to determine which of those pins are valid on your selected UCI. Now, when a user tries to access your UCI, they'll have to input their pin first. They don't need to input their username, just the pin. The username is only used as part of the report sent to the event log to notify you who has logged into that UCI. This enables you to give everyone their own unique pin so you always know who's accessed the screen. If you'd prefer to let multiple users use this same generic pin, that's an option as well. If you don't want a particular UCI to require a pin login, you can remove all pins from its access list. No, that doesn't mean that nobody can access it. It means there are no restrictions on who can access it. So it has no pin code screen at all. The next two tabs involve your conferencing system, soft phones and contacts. We'll look at these sections in depth in later modules, but for now you can see that SoftPhone allows you to register your VoIP credentials and select audio codecs for systems that incorporate any soft phones, and the Contacts section lets you create a local phone directory of names and phone numbers, or to access an LDAP contact list on your network. The Cameras tab allows you to customize various elements if you're using any of the QSIS PTZ IP video peripherals. There are additional training videos that go into these components more in depth, but at a glance you can edit the resolution and frame rate of your IP streams, change your multicast mode and address range, as well as edit the static images the camera can present. There are options for a privacy image when the camera engages privacy mode, an exiting privacy image that displays when the camera is reorienting itself as privacy mode disengages, and an offline image when the camera is not connected. These can all be customized for your venue, provided you use a JPEG image no larger than three megabytes. There's also a Video Endpoints tab. For a full course on how to integrate our HDMI encoder and decoder device, you'll wanna check out the Video 101 training curriculum. But you can see here that this offers very similar functionality as the cameras, in which you can adjust its multicast mode, as well as upload your own graphics. The video encoder can display any of three custom graphics, which are great for company logos or standby instructions or an idle screen when no source is detected. Finally, you'll see a tab for dynamic pairing, which is a feature that allows you to pair a physical device to one of your virtual peripherals based on its MAC address. Shocker, we have a video for that one too. It's available in our quick start section. And that's it for Core Manager. Next, we'll look at the third tool, which is called the QSIS Administrator. Take a quick break and continue whenever you're ready.